These images demonstrate two large polypoid soft tissue masses arising from the posterior nasal cavity and extending to the nasopharynx. There's no central enhancement or adjacent osseous destruction. The masses narrow the nasopharynx. Findings in this situation are compatible with nasal polyposis. In addition, the palatine tonsils are slightly enlarged, which may be age-related as this is a relatively young patient. This patient presented with a history of nasal stuffiness, which is a common presenting symptom of nasal polyposis, in addition to headache, facial pain, and rhinorrhea. The etiology is believed to be a result of chronic inflammation and is associated with asthma, aspirin sensitivity or intolerance, and cystic fibrosis. The polyps may be of mucoid or soft tissue density. And they can cause bony remodeling, sinus trabeculae attenuation, or truncation of the bony middle turbinate. Medical treatment is, is first line and consists of steroids. Surgery is reserved for symptomatic patients for extra sinonasal involvement. This patient eventually went on to surgery.